My family, like millions of other families, has been greatly impacted by addiction. For years, we hid in the shadows, isolating ourselves, lying to our closest friends about the chaos that was ensuing in our home behind closed doors. It took a lot of courage for my parents to admit that they didn't know how to help one of their children. When we went out looking for professional help, we found that some of the professionals were more than willing to take advantage of the desperate situation that we were in. They also preached an antiquated ideology. We clung to these beliefs, and as a result, my brother's condition continued to deteriorate. We had internalized two of the great fallacies that family members are often taught, that we were responsible for my sibling's condition and that we were powerless in our ability to help him. In reality, nothing could be further from the truth. Addiction is often referred to as a family disease. Family members play a central role in the lives of many individuals with substance use disorders. Decades of research have shown that addiction treatment results in better health outcomes when family members are involved. When a family member starts using drugs or alcohol in an unhealthy way, many families don't know what to do. The individual using substances may begin to prioritize drugs or alcohol over relationships and engage in behavior that's out of character. Family members may begin to feel neglected and confused. Relationships with family members can become strained and family dynamics change. Often, family members with no formal education or support must provide life-sustaining care in the home. Family members impacted by a loved one's substance use are at high risk for developing chronic health and psychiatric conditions. There is evidence that the health of affected family members correlates with the severity of their loved one's substance use disorder. Affected family members are high utilizers of the healthcare system. It is likely that family members will seek care for themselves before their loved one with a substance use disorder. Primary care providers are in an ideal position to identify and educate families impacted by addiction. Providers should be aware of the evidence-based supports available to family members, as well as evidence-based treatment for substance use disorders. Providers should be aware that information and education provided to family members can greatly influence health outcomes for all family members. Meet Karen, a 50-year-old mom of three. Karen goes to see her primary care provider, Dr. Bob, because her tension headaches are getting worse. Dr. Bob spends most of the visit focused on Karen's headaches. Karen shares with Dr. Bob that her youngest son is using heroin. In response to her disclosure, he expresses sympathy but does not offer any education or resources. Desperate for guidance on how to help her family, Karen attends a peer-led support group where she receives advice from other well-meaning parents. Karen finds comfort in their company and feels less isolated and ashamed. However, Karen does not realize that much of the advice she's been given is not evidence-based and actually harmful to the recovery of her entire family. Karen is given advice such as her son must hit rock bottom before he will be ready to seek treatment. She is also told that treating her son with kindness and compassion will only further enable his drug use. This support group is the only place Karen has received advice about actions she can take to address her son's heroin use. Karen adopts some of the advice she's been given by her peers. As a result, her son's condition worsens and her family system becomes more chaotic. In another scenario, Karen goes to see Dr. Barb. When taking Karen's medical history, Dr. Barb asks, are you concerned about anyone in your household's drinking or drug use? Karen appreciates this question and shares that her son is using heroin. Dr. Barb also gives Karen information on peer support groups so she can connect with parents in similar situations. In addition to addressing Karen's health concerns, Dr. Barb also actively connects Karen to licensed professionals for individual and family therapy and educates her about the evidence-based treatments appropriate for her son. Dr. Barb recommends evidence-based programs designed for loved ones of individuals with addiction. Dr. Barb educates Karen on how to respond to an overdose 
and provides her with a prescription for naloxone. Now, Karen is receiving evidence-based, professional support to improve her own health, as well as the health of her entire family. She still chooses to attend a peer support group and benefits from the relationship she has built with other parents. However, Karen is no longer reliant solely on the advice of her peers. As demonstrated in Karen's case, often the recovery process for other family members begins before the person with a substance use disorder is ready to engage in treatment. Improved health and functioning of family members can be a strong motivator of change for someone with a substance use disorder, and families can take strategic actions to increase the likelihood that their loved one will enter treatment. In summary, healthcare providers should be aware of the reciprocal relationship between individual and family health. To improve the health of all family members impacted by addiction, providers can, one, conduct universal screening to identify families impacted by substance use. Two, educate family members that addiction is a chronic medical condition and that effective evidence-based care is available. Three, refer family members to evidence-based supports, such as individual, couples, or family therapy. Four, encourage patients to complete authorizations to allow for greater family involvement in care. Five, equip family members with naloxone and teach them how to respond to an overdose. Remember, with the right support and education, all family members can achieve a level of health and functioning superior to that which existed prior to the impact of substance use.